So you want to sew a bold gown and you really do not know what to get, be it a baby's ball gown, um, a wedding ball gown or any form of ball gown at all and you really do not know what to buy or what to get for it. Well, this video is for you and I am your friend. So hey guys, you're welcome to my YouTube video and so my baby's birthday is coming up and I want to sew a bold gown for I want to sew a bold gown for her and I'll be going through the items I bought to make the bold gown. There is items that she need to make the bold gown. So the first thing I got was I I got this around um, everything that I'm going to bring out. I got them around july june july 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 i got them around july so the first thing i got was the bayonet i got the bayonet so the bayonet is um it's important very very especially if you're going for the regular um ball gown you need the bayonet but if you're going to use your lace or your Ankara and all of that and you think you don't need the bayonet no problem but if you're going for a regular ball gown which is up here i think yeah it's up here um there is this type of ball gown then you need the bayonet you need the bayonet so second thing you would need is you need your okay this part of the bayonet that was left at home yes part of the vein that was left at home i don't know if you can see it yes so i added it to it um the next thing you need is your doll face yes your doll face your bridal satin your duchess whatever you want to use as the undergarments whatever you want to use inside to cover up the transparency because if you if you're going to use the lace it's going to be transparent if you're using the bayonet or tule while the market is called bayonet the need as bayonet if you're going to use this it's also transparent so you need something to cover to cover up the transparency as you can see you need something to cover up so it's either you're getting a bridal satin a mercury um Mercury is also known as bridal satin, I think. Then your dushes or your doll face. So I got, I actually got um, three yards for this. I got three yards for this. Then, um, okay. Your your lining, you be needing your lining to cover up the sewing to make your seam, your sewing neat, to make your seam line neat, neat everything neat to cover up. All of that to make the inside neat. The same way the outside is neat, the inside needs to be neat too. So you need this for this, and it also it also make the material, um, the fabric, the cloth come out thick too. But you just need it for the business and hair that's stated. So what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, I got zip. So I got to zip actually. This is your your zip. Um, this one is for your your zip. Um, I think this um length eighteen. If you use a measuring tape, it's eighteen size eighteen. So I got this your your zip. It's mainly mainly used for children. So I got this particular one. So I was thinking, okay, I might sew the same color with my baby on her birthday. But later on, I changed my mind. So this is the other zip. So I'm gonna keep it for future use in case another customer um comes that needs that uh, with this kind of color i use the zip for the person so this size 24 that i actually got so after that i got thread i got a thread about four four threads and then i was planning to sew for myself too so i got four four thread i don't know where the other one is i actually got four thread Two of it. Let's do it. I'll show you the other one. I see. <coughs> Sorry. I got four trades. Okay. This is the other um, door face. This is the other door face. This is the other door face. So I got 
stones. Yeah, I got a lot of stones. I got stones. The feet. I got stones. I got stones. I want there to be a lot of designs. I like designs. So you would need stones if you want to design it. You need stones. You need appliques if you want to design it. So I got that. Then I also got this type of um, stone. I think this is called Reno stones. Reno stones. I don't know. Oh, I got this. I just go to the when you go to the um, when you go to the um, retailer shelf, you see different stones, different designs. So it depends on what you like, what you love, and what you want to get. So I got this because it reflects gold and emerald green and uh -huh. <laughs> so <laughs> I also got this. Yeah. This also reflects green, blue, and gold. So since what I'm sewing it's more of like emerald and um emerald sorry emerald and champagne gold or gold rather so i got something that reflects those colors although blue is not part of it but i got it too as well so i got these flowers i got like 10 of these flowers i got like 10 of those flowers it's beautiful right so that's why i got it like um i think <laughs> when it comes to um fashion things or tailoring things you ask a lot of people what consumes your money the most you ask a lot of tailors some say thread some for me it's this design these stones you have seen this see another one i got this other one too yeah i got this other one too so these things they consume my money like whenever i go um to the tailor shop i'm always even if i go for other things i bought the important things i must pick one of any of these appliques any appliques i see at all that looks attractive just now picking it there's no two ways about it even if i don't need this for what i'm saying at that moment i'll just pick it out <laughs> you know someday i might get to need it i'll just buy so that's just me that's one thing <laughs> so ever since i've been trying to avoid that section of appliques but it's irresistible. <laughs> okay, I got bony. I got bony. Why I got this bony was I felt because at that time, like around July, when I went to the market for these things, even the colors, it was on that day I went to the market that I um, decided on using red green because my initial color was lilac because I had the same. Um, colors to different co various colors to my few of my friends to pick the most attractive ones and the highest vote was lilac so i said okay lilac but when i got to the market immediately i saw this emerald green i fell in love with the color and i said okay this is what i'm going for this is the color i'm going to store for my baby girl so i bought this bony and i said mm, because i haven't decided on any style the initial style I had in mind needed 30 yards, 30 yards of um, tule, of veinage. That is this, 30 yards of this. But then I could only get 15 yards. So I said, okay, 15 yards, meaning I have to change the style I have on my head, in my head. So I said, okay, since I don't have any particular style yet, I had to buy this bunny in case, in case I want to decide, okay, the style I want to store for my baby um, has to have this outstanding effect, then there's no need of saying, oh, I didn't get that, or, or trying to run, or, you know, so I said, okay, I got this just in case, I got this, so bunny is for standing effect, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I got I got Quinone, this um three yards. The bone is actually one yard, this one is one yard, then this quinone is three yards, three yards of it. So I got this quinone. I was like, okay, if I'm gonna sew that um wavy effect, um, um what's it called wavy effect design or um kind of design, yes. Then I would be needing this. So 
that i'm going to sew it which i doubt because i'm already having a change of mind yes i think i have a change of mind already so this is i got three years of this so if you're going to sew a, um, those gowns with wavy effects then you need this as this type of wavy effect if you can see it's up there i don't know i think i the picture is the picture is up there so this is it i'll place the picture up there for you to see i'll place the picture up there so if you need such kind of effect then you need a quinoa yes <laughs> i told you me and me and athletes me and storms we are five and six i got this one as well and see it's beautiful i got this i don't know how much i got it I just saw it it was attractive and do you know the worst thing um it's actually green and gold and you can imagine i bought this this silver color so i don't know i'll keep it or whenever the need arrives for it um, so this is it i got some of this i think i've shown you guys before so if you want to um, um so those gling gling and all of that then gling tap and that's for gling gling if you want to sew those things then you need your um what's it called you need to buy your stones and your hat wigs to design yes don't worry i'll actually make a video of how i'm going to make use of this material the cutting and the sewing of the baby boy gown so that will be the part two the section two so i got brands if i later concluded okay i'm going to sew um um an Ankara, yes, for me and my baby, so that's what I'm gonna sew alongside with her. So, this is it. I'm gonna sew with her. Yeah. Okay, this is the thread, brown thread for it. These are more stones, more stones, more stones, <laughs> more stones. This one is actually more beautiful and it's different from this one i don't know if you can see it it's different from that one so i got them just in case <laughs> i whenever, whenever i get to the market and i just whenever i said my sorry whenever i get to the market i'll just i need one of this i'll pick it the next day i need one of this i pick it when i'm sending um to my girl and her and i'll be like make sure you buy this um make sure you buy um one of the stones i don't know i just like Gathering them. Like. Okay. Okay. So that's it. This is the number four. This is the number four. Oh, don't, don't, don't come out. Okay, I'll, um, I'll put. So this is the number four thread I got. So the main gang, 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 gang of it all. This whole ball gown the main the main the main is this one gun gun the adnets yes so the adnets this is called adnet you can see it's quite different from i don't know if you can see the texture can you see you can see this is strong it's stronger than this so this is what gives it this adnet is what gives it this fuller effect it's what gives it this fuller ball effect there are two ways to it though if you don't want um for some wedding gowns you they put on this in petticoat underneath it petticoat on undergarment it's made from this quinoa materials yeah they put up they put it on underneath it so that one the petticoat is um, <coughs> my throat is kind of dry sorry the petticoat is um sewn separate same with the garment it's sewn separate so if they're gonna wear it the petticoat will be like an undergarment then they wear the wedding gown so even for other gowns too even some baby baby gowns but if you want to use the hard net then you need to attach it i'm <laughs> sorry i'm sorry then you need to attach it to your fabric the fabric you're going to use to sew the ball gown so i'll show you the process involved there are two processes involved in attaching your 
um bowl in attaching your adnet it's either you gather it the way you're going to gather your dog face and your veins or um the other process i'll show you guys i'll show you because i'm going to use the two process i want a very full this thing so mind you the more your heart needs the more hard needs you're going to add to that gown the more your fuller effect of the ball gown i don't know if i'm making sense with what i'm saying <laughs> i don't know if i'm making sense how best will i put it okay the more adnet the more yards of adnet you buy no the more um how will i put it the more the hardness the more adnet you had to it if you had just like this then you're going to get just like this effect there is lesser effect if you had more than this you're gonna get more than that effect a fuller effect you get so the more adnets you add to your um, ball gown the more fuller effect you get so that is it for that this is the gang gang inside either this or that petticoat but most times most people go for this because this is so with the gown so whenever you're wearing it you're having that fuller that full effect so thank you all so so much please ensure you um you like and comment i want to dialogue with you guys i want to communicate yes i want to communicate with you guys and um don't forget to hit the subscribe button yes and do you know the surprising thing it doesn't cost anything it's they're not going to task you for it nothing nothing it's just for you to get um, a notification whenever i post make a post and definitely you know my posts are interesting you know all my tutorials are something that you have to look out for <laughs> so it's the subscribe button and thank you so much for the um subscribers and uh, new subscribers um how will i put it <laughs> thank you so much for the new subscribers i am sincerely grateful i am sincerely grateful so yes hit the subscribe button it's the subscribe um button and i think um this youtube video is um more of like it's one of the social um media outlets that um i've been able to remain consistent so i deserve an applause for that so it's one of the media outlets social media outlets rather that i've been able to stay consistent and it wows me because i'm this kind of a person that likes um reality like i like talk like when i say talk i mean um we see we we'll talk that kind of friendship physical okay let me put it that way i like physical i pre prefer physical like let me see your expressions let me see your feelings you get you know there are times on whatsapp or what of you and you write low and the person is not actually laughing you get but you can't be able to tell if the person is laughing or if the person is being is really laughing or not laughing or if it's just a normal comment so seeing physical it's more interesting more uh-huh you get so I guess that's why i'm not that consistent with social media but this is fun this is fun like i'm talking to real people yes making youtube videos make me have this sweet feeling like i'm talking to real people like you guys are real you guys are real so thank you all so so much so my next video will be on how to cut um the ball gown and how to sew the ball gown so thank you all so much make sure you hit the subscribe button thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you